Hey y'all, it's me, Slave by Jordan. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a all right, y'all. Today we are working with Curls Queen Hair. Curls Queen sent me over their Water Jerry Curly Texture, one bundle of 24 inch and two bundles of 26 inch. Curls Queen's bundles are thicker than your normal average grade company. They come in 150 grams per bundle each. So I have a 450 grams total compared to the normal 300 grams that I would give with other companies. Let's do our install. We have our girl Yummy today. As you can see, her hair is very short because we did a very low cut on her a few months ago. However, we're going to do a flip over sewing today on short hair, so stay tuned. Right now, I'm just pointing out her leave out in the front, which is all that you will need. I'm using my rat tail comb. So what I'm doing is I'm parting the hair and I'm laying the the rat tail on her part just to see can i see the rat tail when i pull the hair back if you can see the rat tail you need to leave more hair out if you can't see the rat tail you have enough hair so once i gauge how much hair i need i'll do that on both sides and i'm just gonna braid that out the way as you see me doing now So right now I'm doing her anchor braids. I'm going to do two on each side and I'm going to cross them across the nape in the back just to make sure we have a very secure anchor. Now that her anchor braids are done, we're just going to do straight backs all across the rest of the hair. As you can see now, I've applied a net. I'm not going to sew it down. I'm just going to apply the net on her head and then we're just going to sew the bundles in as normal. I'm sewing the bundles kind of like in a U shape and you're going to do that all the way till you get to the top of the head. Just watch.
Once you get to the top, you'll be left with a rectangular U-shaped section, and that's when we're going to do our flip over. Yummy wants her hair to fall over to the right side of her face, so we're going to start laying her tracks on the left side and go up until we reach the right side. We do this this way so when we actually flip the hair, it's in reverse and it will give it some height and some volume. Whatever side you want your hair to lay on, you're going to do the tracks in the opposite way. I know this is hard when I'm explaining it, but if you look at what I'm doing, if you look at the way I'm laying the tracks right now, you would think she naturally wants her hair to lay on the left side of her face, but she actually wants it to lay on the right side. I lay it this way so when we flip it over, she has that height and that volume and you know, we just using gravity on our own terms. So right now, all I'm doing is filling in that rectangle and I'm just going horizontally sewing in little tracks piece by piece. And once I get to the end, I'm gonna cut them and you're gonna keep doing that until you get to like a little square. And make sure that you sew these tracks close together. You don't want any gaps. So when you do flip your hair over, you don't see any tracks. And once you get to that little square, you're just going to sew your tracks normally, like side by side, until you cover that last little braid. And make sure that you sew these close together as well. So when you flip your hair either way, you don't want to see any tracks. Mind you, at this point, this should be a very little square. You should barely even see a braid at this point. We're gonna lift that hair up and cut off the excess net, and then we're gonna proceed to style this hair on out. Unless you like your hair like a big afro-y type, you will need to define your curls with this hair like how I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm just spraying the hair down with some water. I'm using my mist spray bottle. The only thing I have in there is some water. And now I'm taking my cream of nature foam and mousse, and I'm gonna pump that liberally all over the hair. And you want to make sure that you're doing this in sections so that you really evenly distribute this all over the hair. That way all your curls can be defined. You cannot just wet all the hair in one piece. You need to section it out like you would do your natural hair. Now I'm going to take my paddle brush and I'm going to start from the ends and work my way to the top. And we're just going to brush all this through. And as you can see, the hair is getting very defined for me. And we're going to do this for all the sections on the whole sewing. Hey. 
truck to the plane to the truck truck to the hotel lobby me i go through underground garages presidential suite on deposit elevator up to the room shower up and then we hit the club touchdown gotta see what's up area code in my phone what numbers do i still have who do i know from the past hit one she say she got a man hit another one it goes green must have changed foes on the team remember when you let me in between that was 2017 all good chuck to look around find one to see my type damn my dog and he know what i like he done found me plenty in my life problem is i meet a girl tonight then i go and treat her too nice gallery of credit card swipes i don't even know if she a wife but i do know one thing though women they come they go Saturday, Once we're done defining her curls, we're going to sit her up on the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes on high just to make sure that her hair dries some and it's not super wet. As you can see, those curls are defined, they are dry, and now we can proceed to blending her leave out with the rest of the hair. I'm going ahead and flipping the hair to the actual side that she wants it to. As you can see, we naturally have that lift and that's what I was talking about earlier. So with her leave out being is very short, the first thing I'm going to do is just hot comb everything and press it with my mini flat iron and then we're just gonna do some dramatic baby hairs first so i'm just parting the hairs out as if it were a wig and then we're going to curl these hairs up with our mini flat irons just like if it were a wig because she wants those dramatic like wig like baby hairs so that's exactly what we're going to give her today we'll worry about blending the actual leave out in just a second just stay tuned stay with me to do our baby hairs today we'll be using the even hairspray make sure that you're using the red can or the black can to lay the baby hairs as you can see i just sprayed the spray on the brush and then i just brushed the baby hairs into place as i brush them i will also be using my blow dryer just to make sure they stick in place as i'm doing them and you just want to style as desired if you don't want to do any baby hairs at all you don't have to at all i just feel like with curly hair it just makes the style more attractive We are now done with the baby hairs and let's get into it. These baby hairs are giving exotic baby. So with the rest of the hair, we're just gonna tie down her baby hairs and we're gonna take that same mousse that we used to define the hair and we're just gonna put that on her natural hair just to blend it with the weave and we're gonna comb it in with the weave to, you know, just blend it. Now, a pro tip is get you some duckbill clips and once you comb it with the weave, go ahead and clip it. That way the hair stays stretched because when this does dry and the mousse does dry, your hair is gonna shrink down and you may not like that so get you some duckbill clips after you blend the hair with the mousse with the weave get you some duckbill clips and clip it into place that way the hair stays stretched as it dries with the mousse because if you don't like i did the hair will shrink however it still gave a natural look when the hair shrink with me and this is also why i like to do the baby hairs because you know it just blends better the baby hairs are done. I set her up on the dryer for about 10 minutes on high. Look at that hair, y'all. Let's get into this final look. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you check the description box below on how to purchase your own Water Jerry Curly Bonus. I love you all so much. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. We got more heat dropping all year. Goodbye.